Welcome back to my satisfactory series on Update 8 Experimental. If you've missed it, there's a link to the first episode in the series in the description. This is episode 4, and I'm going to be setting up our central storage, where we run into our first real difficulties of the playthrough. Will we get storage hooked up, or get bogged down and throw in the towel? Let's find out. All right. As you can see, we've got some uh, subfloor craziness going on here. Our goals this stream are going to be to finish this underfloor project, finish these cascading belts project. I've been thinking a lot about how we're going to solve this. I have some really good ideas on what we're going to do. Then also this behind me is going to be our central storage laid out here. And we've got a little mini subfloor going for belt work. The first thing we have to do is sort of standardize what's going on with our plan with these up here. We've started a lot of them. Our entire factory is now working under the new system. But we have a few things in place that, I mean, the storages aren't ideal. I think I have some some storages downstairs. We're really going to be a little bit short on reinforced plate, although I did just add some on to the end here. I actually think what we can do is let's increase before we really get started on our project. Let's increase our production of iron plates and wire so that we can make sure that our setup for reinforced plates, we're getting as much as possible. It's darn plate recipe. So we need 20 per minute basically, and we have four going. So that's 80 per minute. And how many plates are we making? 20 per minute times one, two, three, four. I mean, that really should be enough. Let's go ahead and push this one over. Let's just give it a, uh, a little bit of a boost. So it won't take any time. We got uh, plates coming out. We do. Let's go ahead and get started. This is off. This is supposed to be right here. I noticed when I was editing the last video. I didn't notice when I built it. So unfortunately, all of this is off by like a half. And we need this space. And even if we didn't need the space, I would probably want to rebuild it anyway. We've got to tear this down. It will slow our production, but there's not a lot we can do if we don't want to live with a mistake forever. We're going to rebuild it and we're going to fix it correctly this time. We're going to match everything else we have, which is right down the middle there. And we go up. We're going to do one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for now. And these need to come in here like this. And all right. Now I'm going to go ahead and place all the floor holes and a lot of these floor holes we're not ready to use just yet, but I want to place them so that I can see what they look like both upstairs as well as downstairs. Perfect. Uh, let's set our smart splitters where they need to be. We're going to go any forward, any right, and overflow left. And the idea of this, I believe this is going to work and will continue to work is that the center and the right act like a splitter and then the left act like uh, an overflow 
Although, actually, we're we're gonna we're gonna turn these off on this one. This is gonna be the base setting for all of them. And then if we need one to act like a splitter, like down here, we have wire coming in, but we also have it splitting off heading down there. So it's it's headed forward to supply wire to the constructors down the center, but it's also splitting off to the right and heading over to build our smart plates over here along the bottom. Uh, not smart plates, uh, reinforced plates. We're not going to set the smart splitters to have that in there as default, but we can if we need them. We're going to hook these up as needed, but the, the space is there. These are going to go in, and they are the overflow side. And this kind of gives us our cascading belts look. When we need to, put more than seven belts down the, the row... We're gonna build just behind it, right? Like this, but up top. So it'll be up there, but offset slightly, just like we did there. Because we ran out of space for the seven and coming off the side here. And so we set up another row. This is good for now. And again, we'll put in that row if we need to go up past seven. All right, so those are the outputs. I'm going to go ahead and leave this ladder for now so we can get up there if we need to. And now we're going to put in the inputs to our smart splitter setup. And unfortunately, we're going to have a little bit of work to do underneath because of this change here, because I broke all the inputs. That went up fast. So let's head down below. Let's grab whatever reinforced plates we can first. Oh, yeah, we're cooking a little bit faster than we were. All right, let's descend into the belly of the beast. Light is on. We are in. Where's our broken belts? They're right here. Yeah. All right, iron should be hooked back up. And then... We really need to get some lights. One, two... Make sure that looks okay. It does. All right, there's our copper ore back in action. Now, it is time for our first real kind of new thing we have to figure out. And surprise, surprise, it has to do with the overflows. So what I want to do is build a platform that is around this high, definitely with enough room to walk under and not feel too claustrophobic. I think this is probably the right height for this platform. And what I want to be able to do is connect with this one. So let's just put it in place now. The shape of this platform will change, but the function is uh, about the same. You know what? You can't even tell, especially in the dark. There's a little bit of Z fighting, but it's not too bad. Okay, problem solved. Yeah. All right, now we can come out to this little half area. What I want to be able to do is for not just this set of overflow, but all the way down is I want to be able to see what is actually overflowing. What has too much on it? You know, what what can we increase the capacity of? And I want to do it visually. We'll maybe put it behind glass. We'll definitely light it because we can't see shit down here. But I want a visual representation of what is actually overflowing. And then down here at the bottom, we are going to set up a merge system to send these off to be shredded. Oh, 
Okay. I think that is set up how we want. Next, we have to build this over here. And then we're going to send it this way. Here is where our wire bank is going to come in. This is going to be the first one we, we really do. I think we can go here. Make this last one a smart splitter. Okay. So let's wire. I'm just going to build the ones that we need. I'm not going to be able to build them all. Uh, yeah, I can upgrade that by hitting control. I can replace a regular splitter with a smart splitter. We're going to build this out. So that we can pull anything out of here that we want. Two on the top, three in the middle. Is that how we're doing it? Yes. So we need three rows. All right. We'll use this to test for now. All right. So anything that we set, we can pull out of here. Once these are all smart splitters, all we have to do is go up to it like this one and send wire out to the left. And then all of these outputs will head this direction to our storage. It's all here in my head. I'm getting it out onto, you know, real life is something else, but it is it is all here. We're going to have to move those again. Are we finally open and free here? We are. Let's build it. Let's remind ourselves what it looks like. What are we building? Building one of these. All right. Now we're going to set up our splitters. Okay. Now, again, the idea is... These are all of our smart splitters. Let's build some temporary boxes. Mostly for testing. Make sure everything's working. Next, where's the reinforced arm plates? They're at the bottom. So, where do they come in? They came in second, so be here and we're gonna do overflow and the first iron plate and that'll go right there and then our screws gonna go right there what else is coming down here Oh, rotors. Okay, that's the first one here. And overflow. And then this last one. I'm running low on limiters. Plates and overflow. Why did you get in there? What are you doing? Overflow. Okay, now we're merging.
Okay, I think this is working. Um, I think we've pretty much wrapped it up. I want to build out... Let's get these in place. Yeah, we're gonna need three sinks for each set. And I kind of want to countersink these because the, the antenna is poking up through. I think that'll be enough. Let's see. Can't remember how big they are. Probably need a three by three. I think they'll fit. Yep. We'll back them right into the the wall there and then on the edge. That look, that looks looks good. All right, yep, that's right, right on the line. And this one. Goes there, and then this. Okay, we'll go here. Those are sinking. Now I'm going to remake the same thing. Maybe plan its location slightly better. Down here. In height order. All right, that's kind of cool. It looks better than that shit we made over there. Okay. So this should just be the leftover reinforced iron. I hate, I, don't, I hate the, see them go to waste. I actually need them. No. Oh. So this should be just what's left over in the belt before I fixed, before I set the smart splitter. Don't go to waste, did I miss one? Ah. <laughs> this should not go for too long. Hopefully. All right, what is going on here? Why are you not set correctly? Oh, it's this one. There we go. <laughs> That's going to be there picking up reinforced iron plates for a long time. Okay, this is the first time I think I've left the subfloor. But this is what we're looking like. I have the inputs coming up from the center piece. And then the left side is overflow. And I have two rows if I need to extend. We'll offset the seven the next seven back a notch. And then this side is if we need to have anything split. So for instance, wire gets created here. Comes through. No, not there. On the other side. Sorry. Wire gets created here goes down and then comes back up here and at that junction right there it does three things okay so it moves it forward right to feed this line make cable and then this side acts as a splitter so this heads down and heads over here and is input here we can't see it but it's on this first row to make the stitched iron plate and if we have any overflow between those two then it gets kicked over here into the overflow system and then stored and then once the over the storage is full then it gets sunk so that's that's what we're trying to build and i have it built for for all of these so all I have to do is switch the smart splitter to instead of an X on the right, like before I get in there like that. So it's not sending anything to the right. But if I need that split, I don't know why I would need iron ingots anywhere else. But if I did, it would it would be right here and I could 
take it anywhere I need to. That's the idea. We built this section over here for our storage. Even with an underfloor. All right. Now we need 34 storage. And we're gonna fill this up. Let's make sure that I have 34 of these. I'm missing some iron rods. This is gonna be our walkway, this central one right here. And I know I'm gonna put these at the end. So do I have room to offset it? I need 17 on each side. Four, five, 15, 16. We're gonna have to extend this. Seventeen. This is gonna be our storage. I need 34 of them. Let's just fix this real quick. I mean, they're all facing the right way. Okay, good. Whew. All right, and then I place that in the middle. Ooh, yeah, and then we need room because we need room to work back here. So that's good. We have that. And then I'll probably do this little trick. We got enough room for that. That's too far forward. Okay. And then obviously we're going to make this high enough to put, to replace these all with doubles once our steel is rolling. Now let's put in the floor holes. Okay, that came together pretty quick. Right now we have two rows, 17 each. The floor holes in on each side. Might as well go ahead and just knock these out. Blueprint would have been nice for this. Oh well, one day. Now, when we actually start connecting things, they will go for us. Okay, here's our hookups. Now we need 34 of them. Let's see what what's under here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to have to do something here. We can do it here. This is still inside. Yeah. There we go. We won't have to clip anything. Let's do it on this side of the little little bridge. We're in the center here. Actually, we like in the center center. Oh my goodness. We're in the exact center. Oh, sometimes you get lucky. So we're just going to go like this. And I tell you what, we really need some lights. Why not just merge the feed lines and use smart splitters to sort them back out? Why not merge the feed lines? It's gonna be coming out of here. Damn, that's a much better idea. So what would be the best way to merge them? You could merge those, those, those. Oh, well, you can merge, you can merge them by, by row. Um, yeah, we can do 12. We, let's do 12. 
Yeah, because this is a mess. We don't need this many. For sure. It will make sure that we don't have any throughput issues pretty much ever. All right. Is there anything else over here we'll deal with? And he's going to go in probably this one. Put these all on the floor. Then we'll go... I will do wire first. Then we'll do... Rods. Okay, those are stored, which is awesome. Yeah. Okay, we're okay. We're doing great. I just have to stop and think. Come on, buddy. Done. That's going to be this one so we'll have to change our setup up top to match okay. get the rotor set up I'm scheduled to stop, but can't stop now. I will forget what I'm doing tomorrow. We're actually getting somewhere. We have to keep going. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wrong button. Oh, no. Made a mess of it. Okay, there's that. So, when that fills up, damn it, this is why my suggestion from my, this is why I didn't do this, they have to stay on their own line, I mean, look what's happened, right, something's filled up, but it can't, it has to, they have to stay on their own line. What a waste of time. I knew I had a reason deep in my soul. That I shouldn't have changed the plan. This, is, this isn't going to work. And I'll tell you why. Because it's happening right here. Iron plates are full. Something is full, but the rest can't get through the line because there's no sinks up here. The sinks have to be the last thing. It doesn't matter. All this is garbage anyway. Everything needs its own it needs its own line. But I've been doing this too much. Uh, we're half an hour over. I can't. I have to rebuild all of this. All this has to clear out. I need 34 lines coming up. Because all the splitting happens back here. I can't remerge them. So all of this merging, yeah. That's okay. I needed to learn that lesson. I got to stick with my plan. Don't change it midstream because, you know, there's a reason for the plan. All this goes. You know what? It's okay. It's the life of a satisfactory player. Some people have to delete entire factories. No big deal. 
Yeah, 36. 12 times 3 is 36. So this will give us 36. That's okay. We still learned a lot along the way. And everything we built up until that point is fine. It's just those extra mergers that we put in. And then we're going to keep our little infrastructure here. These all these mergers go. That goes. If you're watching the stream, buddy, who gave me the advice, don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. It's on me. It's not on you. It was a good. It was a good idea. I just hadn't designed for it. You know, I, we may not have enough room now. How many is this taking? One, two, three, and a half. Yep, one, two. Yeah, we got to move this this whole thing up. Okay, so if you point at the middle part, it'll connect. Okay. I'm just going to kill this. Start fresh. Okay, let's start the, the turn here. Okay, so let's build this out. Now these we all get to keep. I want to start loading on this side. And we're starting in the middle. All three of these lines, of course, I mean, of course, why wouldn't you not quite reach? All three of these lines actually are connected. frames, rotors, and screws. Modular frames, rotors, and screws. This one's on the outside. One, two. Okay, so obviously these ones are going to come out on the ground. Well, maybe not necessarily. These ones will do forward. Uh, we have to find out what kind of belt maneuverability we have. See, we can't go there. Here. We can line this up. These. Okay. That's all we really get is four. Okay. There's eight.
12. Uh, and we'll be okay because some of these can attach back here. So this is this is gonna work great. Making some of these turns is gonna be tight, but okay, this should cover us. These are going to come out to the front. And okay, that'll be the middle. So we'll have two down there, one down there, and then two up here. And one up here. And then I guess two against the top. against the top that'll be these boys Come on get where I need you to be one in the middle. Where are we? We are here on this line. This is just honestly a little bit of a test concept. I need to go through and I want to make sure this works. And then I'm just going to do the lines that have stuff on them. And then we'll call it a night. So we'll have rebuilt this. So this is what gets me in trouble with Satisfactory. I'm too stubborn to let things go. this stuff I actually don't mind floating a lot of people floating belts bother them doesn't bother me I want to be able to run through here the practicality of navigating this place is more important so yeah there's nine done with the other 34 well on the way. All right, we got to make room for the next three, which are going to come out right there. Let's just do, let's make sure that there are, there's something in it. No, we have to, fortunately, we have to, Place all these down, and then we'll just run the belts. There. Oh my god. I didn't even know those were there. Now let's put in what we need. Any of these have splitters on them? Aren't splitters? I don't think so. Or this one? No. That one will. That's going to be a pain in the butt, but we'll, we'll feed him in when the time comes. Okay, so that means only... Okay, reinforced iron plates. We need to leave room for those bad boys. So he comes here. Okay. And then looks like we have friends at every level. And reinforced iron plate, and then iron rods, and then 
Why? Not that it really matters. We're just gonna gonna be a hodgepodge in our storage. Remember, this is just the starter base, so I will remember this when building the mega storage facility. Wow, that will not let me in. Denied. Okay, and then we're going to be using this one, this one. That looked good. Looks good. I get on there. <laughs> it really will not let me in there. Hey, we already put these in place. Cool. That was convenient. Great, that's done. Only this middle one has anything on it. But I want space for this bad boy. So that one's used, so we're gonna fill up this one. That one. What is the iron plates? Nope, wrong. Then we're going to go middle here. So this row and then that look right it does look right and bang it there I'm locked in a cage so uh, be right here that one it's this one okay we're over on one we just did the high one here so the next row the extra will be there unfortunately we gotta maybe plan this out a little bit more no, it's got to be there. That'll be the extra. And then we'll go that way. Ooh. Where's our iron plate? They're right there. Oh, we said we were gonna, we have to do three. So. How will we do that? If the extra goes there first. So we'll make him call. Make him tall.
And the next one comes the middle. Okay, anything coming from the middle has to have one of those in order to be lined up. In that first row. Done now. Okay, and then I think we can just continue the pattern here. This actually needs to be... Okay, next one. We just... Is this a repeatable pattern? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it is. There anyway. Let's not push it too far. Let's just take it one step at a time. That is a much faster way to do that. Thank you. Update 8. That's, that's just beautiful. All right, we went that way. Go that way. And here, here. This is the belt work that, in theory, that plan would have saved me from. Already getting close to done. Let's not do this one, bro. I, I don't think it makes sense to because we have these ones back here to do. So we'll we'll take that as it goes. Um all right, what where are we at? Iron plates are there. Yeah, I think that that'd be fine. And might as well get this set up. Let's just stick smart plates above our iron plates. Not try to outthink, which would be impossible. This late. In the morning. Okay, there's our smart plates. And I do believe that's everything. So we did it. We added an extra hour there, experimenting with some different ideas. 
but I believe that we have everything storing. Everything's in here and everything's good. All right, that is gonna do it. It was a little bit frustrating for me at times, not because of the suggestion from chat. I, I, don't, I don't mind that at all. That really wasn't it. I was having a hard time in my mind keeping some things straight. We're doing some experimenting. We're trying some brand new shit that I've never done before. And, you know, it's just going to take time to figure out. So I, you know, appreciate if you, hopefully you learned something and won't have to go through what I went through. We busted that out really fast. We knew what we were doing and we went for it. I think that we'll do it for the evening or the morning. And thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for sticking around. I've got to admit, getting those items finally hooked up just the way I wanted was, well, very satisfactory. I was just too bullheaded to take a break until I got it right, something I'm sure we haven't seen the last of. Next episode, we'll be hooking up the last few items to the storage and then moving on to Caterium and Quartz. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my future content. Until next time.